What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because it's actually Saturday, October 15th, which is what day? It's Dabble Sneak Peek Darkwing Blast. The sneak peek starts today and I'm really excited because we're going to be heading over there. We've been getting some really good luck with our pulls in the last sneak peek. Oh, there's Richard actually because I was just about to say we don't have a deck to be playing for today. I told Richard, I was like, hey, listen. I don't really want to play anything that I have right now. I'm missing a few pieces on other decks. So for that reason, give me something to play. And I'm actually gonna go downstairs right now to grab Richard because Richard is giving us a deck that I've actually never played in real life before, but it's Dino Morphia. Okay, let me just let me just get to Richard here real quick to see to see when he comes in. I guess you guys get to say hi to Richard. But if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. Come in. Look who it is. Where is he? It's Richard. You came in as I was just vlogging. Anyways, like I said, Richard's letting us play Dino Morphia today. So yeah, we're not we're not thinking today. We're just flipping floodgates. All right, we'll see you when we get to the sneak peek. All right, we're just walking into locals now, and uh, we have like 20 minutes to go, so we're not in a rush. Luckily, Richard and I put together Dino Morphia, so we're ready to go. Playing a deck I've never played. Probably gonna misplay. Probably gonna go X2 today, but it is what it is. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I want to see how busy. It oh, it looks busy. Oh, it looks really busy here. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Sneak peeks are tend to be really busy, but you know what I'm most excited for? The pulls. I need to pull a secret rare. What secret rare are we going for today? Uh, Richard, what secret rare are we going for today? If we want to pull any secret. Okay, either Rule Kalos. No, I want the Ignis though. Or Spellbook. We're going for Ignis or Spellbook. Okay, maybe we get Fenrir's. But yeah, I'm excited for the pack opening. So let me go purchase my entry, purchase my packs, and then I'll get back to you when we do the pack opening. That's probably what we're going to be doing next. So turns out there's actually two sneak peeks happening today. There's the Yu-Gi-Oh! one, of course, for Darkwing Blast. But there's also Digimon, which is why there's just a crazy amount of people today. But I'm really excited. Hi, Loki. Do you guys want to see Loki? Oh, he ran away. Anyways, that's Loki. That's our uh, locals dog that comes around. I'm excited for today, but it is kind of stuffy in here. By the way, Elf is here today. For once. For once coming to locals. Get me out. <laughs> Bro, this guy came and he's like, I don't want to be here anymore. It's actually so nuts. But I'm just waiting on the sneak peek to start. It's already past 1 p.m., which is when the sneak peek was supposed to start. And uh, yeah, so we're just waiting on our packs. I'm excited. Hopefully we pull good. We're going for a starlight. Make sure to like this video because if you guys like it in the future, then in the past, I'm going to pull a starlight. That's just how it works, all right? That's how YouTube works. So make sure you guys do that. Right. Six packs, Darkwing Blast. Field center is nice. I wish this was plastic though, but it's nice. All right. Oh my god. Alright, let's go. I want the starlight. We like want any starlight. It's really loud in here. So if you guys are hearing a bunch of stuff, then uh, my bad. But we're going for a starlight. Where's our super? Oh, Magnemite. Nice. Yo, for pulling supers, we want the Bestials. This actually, funny enough, is worth a pack. So it's actually kind of worth. I'm not, I'm not mad with the super Bestials. But we want a Fenrir or we want a secret. We want a secret. Okay, Godi, super rare. Alright, let's see if we can pull a Fenrir right now. Or a unicorn, but Fenrir probably is the play. Should not. Okay. Three supers. Can we not go six supers, bro? I'm too sad. All right, let's go. We got. Oh, bro, it's not the worst, but I don't, I don't like this. Okay. We need a secret. We need to hit a secret. We pull a rule, Kalos, right here, right here. Blockman, nice. Okay, one secret rare, please, or a Fenrir. Secret rare or a Fenrir, please. We don't even need a secret. We need just an ultra. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Wait, where's our super? Oh, Drew a swarm. Okay, we pulled two super bestials. That's about it. All right, not the greatest sneak peek packs, but uh, shoot, this is the first time we haven't hit on a sneak. These aren't bad. I'm not mad with these. These kind of unfortunate though. Yeah, I guess uh, we'll see where it goes from here. All right, so I didn't hit on my packs as you guys saw. I mean, we got the beast steel, which are good supers, but I didn't hit anything. So Alpha has packs here. Let's get to opening. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. Starlight. Actually, no, none of them are good. I feel the starlight. I feel the starlight. Feel starlight. My streak was over. It was bound to end. It was bound to end. Real close. I see fusion. I knew it! I knew it! I literally saw the fusion! It was literally gonna be that Yo. easy. It was always gonna be that easy, bro. Oh, oh, good I'll take super. That. Yeah, yeah, good super. You want that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no... Oh, there's no Naturia stuff. No Naturia... <laughs> Shut up. Oh, oh, and you can still hit, though. Oh, that's, that's oh, that's an, oh okay. No, so oh, sure. yeah, there you go. A secret iron ultra must be nice. I'm not, I'm not uh, handling these very well, but... You can tell I'm excited. I mean, you hit the roll close. All right, if we're gonna hit a super, you want to be steel one, right? Yeah, yeah. It's probably the best one. Okay. What is that? Oh, you were about to miss. You were about to miss sometime. 
You're bad at this. There's no way you're going six for six. You're bad at this. Hey. Oh, oh there you go. I needed this one too. Insulin. Hey, good six packs. Not bad at Congrats all. on the polls, homie. Thank you, man. All right, so we just finished round one, but just before we get into the round one stuff, this is Jordan. I miss you, man. I haven't seen you in so too, long. He's back in school, so I don't see him too often. You'll see me on Saturday. Come on Saturday for turning. Okay, there you go. So I'll see him on Saturday. But this is the first time breaking our streak of you giving me a pack or a set and uh, I'm not pulling a secret. It's been what? We did every set from Birth of Destiny Yeah, we have, I was thinking it was four in a row. Yeah, it's four in a row. Four in a row. It's okay, the streak was bound to end. It's okay. It's okay, we'll, we'll make up for it. All right, go do your job. I'm gonna talk to them. So uh, round one just ended and it was actually a really good round. We actually ended up playing against Matthew Van Heuvel, who's one of the best players in Canada. If you guys don't know Matthew Van Heuvel's name, I don't know where you guys are living because that guy's amazing. It was actually a really good round one. Uh, game one, I lost a die roll and he just made the whole tier board. It wasn't that great, you know, it was tough. Game two, I ended up going first. We set up a board of Gozen match plus two of the fusion cards and the mirror jade. So I'm in a good spot. I'm not even joking when I say we're actually about to take the game. And I don't think I misplayed, but what I was doing was I was holding the Gozen match for a little bit until he committed to something because he couldn't activate any effects. And maybe on in hindsight, this was a misplay, but essentially I uh, didn't commit to the Gozen match. I was holding it and he was playing Underworld Goddess. So because he had four bodies on the board and I didn't have the Gozen match flipped up, he actually used the Underworld Goddess, which just linked away one of, I think it was a mirror jade he linked away. And I was like, oh wait, and Underworld Goddess is also unaffected so that also means that her effects are still fine because she's unaffected by uh, Rexstrom and yeah we ended up losing so that was kind of unfortunate misplay on my end in hindsight however because this is my first time playing the deck I don't think I played it wrong I just think that I need to play around certain things that I wasn't thinking of but that was our round one where x1 it doesn't matter we can still like honestly I think we can still go x1 today finish the day x1 which is still a good record that's all we need to get prizing which is really nice so yeah that was our round one pulls weren't great but you guys saw alpha's pulls which kind of made up for it which was nice but uh yeah I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated for the rest of the day how it goes, but I'm having a good time seeing a lot of faces that, you know, I don't see every single time. So it's nice being here. I'm having fun. All right. So we just finished round two. Sorry, I'm not getting footage of the actual duels. It's just so busy and so packed. Like, I just want to, like, I know you guys saw it already, but like, it's a full house, so I'm sorry for that. But we just finished round two, and I was playing against Runic Mystic Mine, and somehow, honestly, I thought we were gonna lose that match, but somehow we won. We 2 0 It was really, really good. This deck pops off when it when it gets its traps going. If your opponent doesn't ash your trap, you're going off. So, Dino Morphia, first time playing it. I'm not misplaying, so uh, I'm happy with my round so far. I'm X1, but we have to win out. If we win out, we're in a good spot. I'm really excited. I also made some really cool trades at the end of the vlog. I'll probably show you guys what we picked up. I'm picking up a lot of the Blackwing stuff because I do want to play Blackwings. I want to profile that on the channel as well. And the really cool thing is we have some really cool decks here that I'm also going to be profiling while we're here. Stay tuned and make sure you guys are subscribed because we have a lot of stuff coming up. All right, my round three is just about to start. And yo, chair, come here. And uh, my round three opponent is uh, Floodgate Boy himself. I'm not excited for it. So uh, yeah, let's get into our round three. Dynamorphia, yeah. best deck, baby. Get out Floodgated. I wasn't even playing Funky deck. Though. I know he wasn't. He was playing Danger Grand Maju. But, but he's signing out Funky though. Let's go. MVP, MVP. Oh my god. Uh, Alright, so we just finished our round three. We ended up out floodgating the floodgate boy himself. So we're X1 and we need one more win because it's four rounds today. So we need one more win and then we get top cut and then we get, uh, what is it? Does X1 get six packs on thing? Maybe 12 packs. 12 packs? Okay, so I think X1 gets 12 packs on release of the set, which is next week, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, so I'm excited. But we have to win out our last match. I told you guys we were going to win out though. However, I'm scared because I'm playing Dynomorphia branded. I'll show you guys the deck profile later on in the video. But the thing is with the deck is every time I've seen the branded stuff, I've been in a bad position. Every time I've seen the Dynomorphia and the Floodgates, I've been in a good position. So maybe I'm gonna adjust this deck in the future. But again, I am borrowing it from Richard, so it's not really even my deck. But yeah, I think the deck's fun. And I'm not misplaying, which is a big thing. Because you can misplay easily on this deck. But yeah, so we're X1, three rounds. Um, we'll catch you, I guess, in round four. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. What's up? You might be playing a fifth round. We're pl Why are we playing a fifth round? There might be. The issue is you played until the XO. One XO. How many XOs are there right now? <laughs> Good question. I'm scared. Way too many. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to play a fifth round. It's okay, you got this. No, I don't know this deck. The king of games. All right, you heard it. You heard it from Jordan. I'm the king of games. All right, well, I guess we might be playing a fifth round. We'll see what happens. All right, boys, so we just finished our round four and we won. I don't even know how I'm winning on this deck, bro. This deck's crazy. Actually, it's not that crazy, but when it pops off, it pops off. Yo, we're doing well. 
but unfortunately jordan just informed us that there is a fifth round so i'm kind of sad about that i'll be honest with you i didn't want a fifth round because i don't even know how much one right now uh but we have to win out i told you we we're gonna win out after our round one loss and we have so far our fourth round was against eldlich which funny enough was a really easy matchup honestly he kind of bricked game one and i had the called by he got to his golden lord finally but i had the call by for it and then yeah that was just when like i just won after that game two i just i think we both opened pretty good but i just opened kind of nuts i'm not gonna lie i opened a really broken hand so yeah i don't know man the fifth round is kind of sad so i guess i'll keep you guys updated but uh I don't want to play a fifth round, man. I really don't want to play a fifth round. All right, believe it or not, this is our XO table. It's Speedroid versus Flu. Richie Boy XO, but Aaron's out here representing. Speedroid's an XO table. Finals. Let's go. The X1. I know. I came sixth, but we're X1. We'll take it. All right, so we ended up X1 in our fifth round. Uh, just no Jordan. Break Monkey made it. Yeah, I actually made it with uh, Dino Morph. Yeah, of all decks too. So we finished X1. Five rounds. I'm pretty happy because I was not confident in the deck at all. Okay, you got this. I'll be real though. I, did, I saw one tier matchup. That was my one loss. So yeah, you know, sometimes you we take lucky. those. No sometimes you got to get lucky. But yeah, it was it was pretty good. I'm actually kind of happy with how we did. Prizing for X1 is 12 packs. Half a booster box on release, which is super nice because now... I'm getting half a booster box when the set releases. And I actually have a booster box on the way as well for the channel. So that's gonna be really nice. We get some nice pack openings for the channel, which is nice. Bro, I'm having a lot of fun. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the deck profile in a little bit, but I've been trading around, picking up some really cool things. I'm gonna probably stop vlogging in the store. I'm probably gonna end the vlog later when I get back home, because I wanna show you guys what we picked up. I wanna do the deck profile for you guys. I might actually do a full deck profile in another video. Actually, we'll do that, because we gotta juice out content. You know what I mean? I'll put it in five days a week, ain't easy, boys. So yeah, okay. Deck profile in another video, but in this video, I'll just show off a quick like of what I'm playing and uh, yeah, not a full in-depth deck profile. All right, I know I've been talking so long. I'm so sorry for keeping you guys. My pulls weren't great, but I think we made up for it today, which I'm really excited about. I guess we're just gonna go trade around for the rest of the day. I'm tired as heck, bro. But yeah, we're gonna go trade around for the rest of the day and uh, I think we're just gonna have a good day. Alpha's here, Richard's here. I think we're gonna go grab food after this. Jordan, fun fact, you're my favorite uh, vlog guest. Yo! Alright, that one's for you guys. Alright, I'll catch you guys when we get home. Alright guys, we're back at the house and uh, these mooks are doing a deck profile because Richard came first place today. Yeah, they're using my house for videos. Go go follow Alpha. I'll give you a shout out. Yeah, go subscribe to Alpha. He's back on YouTube and he's almost at a thousand. So let's get him to a thousand. I didn't show them the deck profile. Should I show them that or should I make them watch a second video to make watch Make them watch the... a second video. <laughs> Alright, you guys heard it here Money. first. You guys heard it here first. Alright, so for the deck profile, I'm not going to show you guys everything in detail. I'm just going to go through it here real quick. But obviously, you guys know I said we were playing Dynamorphia. So here's the Dynamorphia branded stuff in here as well. And then we have a quick little profile here. It's not the full thing. It's not a full in-depth explanation. If you guys want to see that, it will be on the channel soon. Maybe tomorrow's video, maybe sometime this week. But this will be on the channel soon. I'm excited to show this off. Going X1 with the deck that I played for the first time is very exciting. But I want to show you guys what I ended up picking up. So first things first is a big shout out to Team Eldlich. They actually helped me acquire these cards. They had them and I needed some of the random hero stuff that I didn't have from before. So Team Eldlich Gaming, big shout out to them. If you guys want to check out, they have a YouTube channel. So you guys can check out the YouTube channel. But they helped me acquire these. It was really nice. Then, of course, you guys saw with our pulls, we got a Magnum Hut. We actually ended up trading for another Magnum Hut. So these cards are really cool. I think the Beastial Supers are actually carried my pulls today. Obviously, you guys saw we didn't pull good. But I think the Beastials are really good cards to have even the super rares i'm pretty sure these are like four to five dollars to super rares right now which is kind of nuts i think drew is a little bit cheaper but magnum is be pretty expensive i picked up some ashes i already have some common ashes that i got from the crystal beast structure decks when i opened them but it's always good to have extra ashes i like to keep hold of these like kind of staples especially because we do a lot of deck profiles here on the channel so it's nice to have some that i could just put into every deck rather than having to switch them between decks every single time i want to do a profile then we pulled a lot of the black wing stuff or not pulled but traded for and just picked up a lot of shout out to alpha actually alpha gave me a lot of these for free so a lot of just the super rare black wing stuff which is really nice it's not finished yet these are the commons okay so the commons don't really matter i'm sure you guys don't care about commons yeah we got the blackwing stuff because i want to do this deck profile i know i only play one of this i have three of these i know vada is a three of i believe but yeah i'm gonna look into the ratios i'm gonna get the deck right we picked up one chalice because of course i just love hoarding these super chalices and the card that i'm most excited that i picked up is this ultimate rare fusion destiny i absolutely love this card an ultimate rare 
a max rarity hero card that I can add to the deck. And I just love ultimate rares. Like ultimate rares are my favorite rarity. So, so pretty here on camera. So yeah, that's what we picked up for today. Nothing super crazy, I guess, outside of the fusion destiny, but it's really nice. I got to complete some of the hero stuff here that I otherwise didn't have. Nothing super expensive, as you guys can see. Yeah, I'm excited with these pickups and I'm excited to show you guys the deck profile when uh, I do get into it. That is gonna conclude today's video, today's vlog. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. The guys just left. It is kind of getting late. That's why you guys can see I'm in my PJs. I'm in my like house clothes now, but I was excited. Today was a good day. It started off a little bit slow with the bad pulls. I hate getting bad pulls, but we made up for it. I think we picked up some really cool cards, but the thing is like, bro, like sneak peeks are so expensive nowadays. It was like $34 to enter. It used to be 25, like literally just a year and a half ago, two years ago, maybe it was $25 to enter. 34, that's so crazy now, but yeah. Anyways, we ended up going 4-1. We made up for it by winning. Winning is always the best thing to do when you lose because losing means that you got to do something to win. That's my motivational advice for the day. It's not great motivational advice, but it's motivational advice. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. If you haven't already, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more vlog content just like this one. We do combo videos, deck profiles, dual videos, all that good stuff. We upload five days a week here on the channel, so make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already. I'm super excited to be getting into the Dynamorphia deck profile and all the new post Darkwing Blast deck profiles. And I have a box coming in, which is gonna be really nice because we're gonna be doing that box opening as well. So I'm really excited. Oh, by the way, speaking of those packs, that we won from winning I found out that you can actually put them in for store credit so we ended up getting a bunch of store credit instead of getting the packs because I'd rather just have the store credit we're getting a box anyway so you know I'd rather have the store credit but yeah thank you guys all for watching I appreciate every single one of you with that Spanko signing out peace